Hello everybody, John Bishop here. Today I'm going to be uh, updating one of my current posts um, that already exists with the Socialize plugin um, by updating some of the bookmarks I'm displaying based on how popular uh, the post has been so far. And then I'm going to change the call to action at the bottom of the post to be more relevant uh, to the post that we're dealing with. So the post I chose was 31 WordPress CMS plugins. It's done fairly well. See it has over 100 tweets. Um, it's a post I worked pretty hard on, adding images and trying to find relevant um, WordPress plugins to share. And you'll see I got a significant number of uh, stumbles and uh, delicious uh, saves. And while I was looking around, I noticed I also got a few digs. So the purpose of the plugin is to only display the buttons that are performing well because it lets other users know that. Uh, other people have found your your post to be informative, and it creates what I've talked about before, a sense of social proof. Uh, if other people like it, I'll probably like it too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and add the dig button uh, right below my tweet button. Uh, you'll see I have a little space uh, below the Twitter button. Uh, usually as a rule of thumb for my own posts, if I have an image within the post that's uh, higher up in the post I usually try not to use too many inline buttons because the the buttons and the images kind of clash but here I have a a big block of text you know two paragraphs so I have plenty of room to add another button so I'm gonna dive into the post uh, content here and you'll see the socialize buttons uh, panel on the right hand side by default you can move it below your posts if you like uh, I like it in the right hand side um, all I'm gonna do is select the dig button. So there, from there, I can update my posts, go up and refresh the page. Uh, that is, if my other post is uh, updating fast enough. And there we go. So you'll see I have four digs. You know, it's not a lot, but it's more than I usually get from digs, so uh, it's worth showing. So now, other people that have dig can easily share, and they'll see that other people have shared this post as well. Um, so taking this a step farther, uh, another thing the socialize plugin does is it asks your users to do something at the bottom of the post. Uh, as of the last version, which I updated a couple days ago, um, you can now change the call to action on a post-to-post -post basis. You'll see that right here, socialized call to action. Um, you see I moved the hide alert box from the original socialized settings over to the socialized uh, area down here. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm quickly just going to go in here and instead of, it says, if you enjoyed this post by default, if you enjoyed this post, please consider leaving a comment. Well, I'm going to change this to, if you enjoyed this post, please, and then share your favorite plugins. And that's going to link to the comments. And then, or subscribe to the, uh, to the RSS feed to have future articles over to your feed reader. So now I'm going to go ahead and update this post and refresh this page. And now not only do we have our dig button, but also at the bottom of the post, we've created a custom call to action relevant to the post, um, asking users to share their favorite plugins in the comments. Um, the, the box can expand to be as large as you want it to be and can also support uh, any HTML you can throw at it, so you can put images in there and stuff. So it's a great place to, if you're using, you know, Thesis or Genesis, to have a link to your uh, affiliate link to Thesis or Genesis there, which a lot of popular blogs do. Um, you could also fill it up with uh, social media buttons. You can put as many as I think it's six or eight or nine in there. Uh, just remember, the more buttons you put in there, the slower your site's going to run and the clunkier it's going to look. Um, and the point of the plugin is to only show this the buttons that are performing the best. So uh, with that in mind, uh, I hope you guys learned something, and uh, until next time, I uh, hope you enjoyed this little video. Thanks.